In this video we're looking at Descartes' formula and a couple of other formulas. Um, just tying a few loose ends together with this formula and um, to make sure that uh, we're covering all of our bases. Um, the reason I don't spend as much time perhaps on the formula is because if your maths is okay you can pretty much um, use your formula without too much trouble. There are a few tricks which I'll mention um, but uh, yeah, generally people who take physics are pretty good at maths or pretty good at the concepts but even those who are pretty good at the concepts still need uh, a lot more practice with those concepts but the maths comes usually pretty easily so as I said I'm not going to emphasize them anyway Descartes formula um, is if we're dealing with our concave um, mirror over here with our focal length and if we have an object um, we'll just quickly find the image of that um, because this will give us this will give us uh, some useful um, bearings for our readings and so forth. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to remember to stick to the to the light rays that I've already. Um, it's going to have to extend down quite a bit. It's going to equal angle reflection, and there's our image. Okay, image object. Right. So um, there are a couple of other measurements that we can take on here. We've got the focal length. Um, we've we've got the distance of the object, do. Sometimes it's a capital, sometimes it's small, uh, and we've also got the distance to the image. Here's the image down here. That axis will extend, so that's d di, di. Now um, we can link these three things with Descartes' formula. Uh, it's pretty cool how this works out. One over f equals one over di plus 1 over DO. It doesn't matter whether it's 1 over DO plus 1 over DI or 1 over DI plus 1 over DO, but that is our, our formula. Very useful. Um, I suggest playing around with it and getting used to using the fraction button on your calculator, but most of the formula um, revolve around um, uh, finding a common denominator, multiplying out all the bottom parts, the denominators, uh, so that you can just deal with a straightforward equation and rearrange to find the value of one of those. Um, sometimes you'll have uh, a slight trick in a question. They might say that um, di is equal to twice do, um, which could be this situation here actually. Um, and and then what you would have to do, and then they only give you the focal length, and you still have to find di and do. So what they would what you would have to do is um, substitute instead of having uh, di in this equation up here, you would substitute two do because that's what it equals, um, and that will enable you to find it. Okay, so uh, there's uh, one other trick actually, is when you're dealing with um, virtual focal points. Okay, so we'll draw ourselves another axis really quickly down here. This is our con, uh, convex lens this time, and remember we've got a focal length here. We're going to have an object here. Um, when we um, I will, I'll draw the diagram first before we get get into it. So there's our parallel ray which will appear to come from the focus when it reflects and we've got our equal angle deflection uh, which appears to come from there. There's where our image is. Okay, so in this case um, DO is positive. DI, because it's on the back side of the mirror, is negative and the focal point is also negative. Okay, so you have to be consistent with these um, and make sure that you're uh, using the product po proper positives and negatives. So you might not see this formula rearranged in any different way, but when you substitute the numbers for F and for uh, DI uh, into it, you've got to make sure that you put the negative value. And a negative on the bottom of a, frac bottom of a fraction affects the whole thing. Okay. Um, Magnification, I think I've talked about that, or we'll talk about that in a few videos, but that's um, the height of the image over the height of the object, or it could be the distance of the image over the distance of the object. It's um, a relative number, it just tells you how much you would multiply the object by to get to the image. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's, got, it's unitless, I won't quite leave it at that. <laughs> it's unitless because you're doing a distance measurement or a length measurement over another one, and the, the units would cancel out. So it's a little bit like radians in that respect. Um, now the last one um, is actually 
back to our old friend Isaac Newton um, and I'll just draw you one final axis to 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 uh, talk about this here's our focal length here's our object and uh, we know this is the same one as previous uh, as earlier our first one we know there's going to be an image uh, somewhere here so this one we have to take a couple of slightly different measurements our focal length is still the focal length um, but this time instead of going from the object to the the mirror we're going from the object to the focal length okay and same with the image to the focal length and we call that SI and SO and the length in the formula SI times SO equals F squared that is also a very handy formula if you don't have quite enough information um, it's often produces an easier formula to use than Descartes formula uh, when you've only got um, partial knowledge not quite the full knowledge but in any case you can also um, modify the magnification formula for this it works out um, that F over SO also equals the magnification or SI over F um, I don't know why that is, but maybe it's a geometrical trick. There usually are to deal with it, do with this. You can have a look at it and see what you can find out. Um, there's also other formula, but they're more to do with refraction, which is the next uh, section. And um, after we've covered all this reflection stuff, and we'll get into that then. Oh, by the way, these same formula will apply to uh, lenses as well as mirrors and I'll go over their use um, when you get to that.